Scorpio. Happy birthday. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Scorpios, you guys making situations go the way that you want them to go by you actually being well, taking this sense of leadership in order to be the example of the change that you wish to see from other motherfuckers in the mid month of November. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, this is your first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. So if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because the way I'm set up is my shit. I'm going to do that. All right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations. I truly appreciate it. Like I told Cancel, I would have been here with y'all video. Mercury Retrograde and Scorpio was beating my ass. All of my electronics decide they're going to work when they want to. Today is a good day with this damn computer. The power cord has a shortage. So we are praying. We y'all put, put, put them in tension together we are yet praying for this damn reading fellow martians to go smooth okay in the way that it's supposed to go um you guys y'all energy getting into it was very interesting lit okay i actually got the same song that i got i think for taurus in the mid month for you guys which was rick james which was very interesting and i'm going to sing that to you guys but uh we're going to go ahead and get into these introductions this will not be for every damn scorpio take what resonates leave the rest you guys if you need a personal reading that information can be found within the description if you haven't already please go follow me on instagram it's at mocha underscore love underscore tarot to get your weekly astronomical tea from the kid okay because you say you know i see it how it is and i see it how it go and we do positive type teams okay if you're first time subscriber welcome to the family y'all we only dysfunctional okay but we don't fight and fuss we do that shit on other people's channel okay we cuss we laugh we cry we love we grow we evolve positive vibes only over here all right so without further ado let's jump into your mid-november reading let's go all right we're gonna start with your intuitive messages uh scorpio because i cannot wait to get into this energy because it was deep you guys all right for you all i got past life regret Timeline leaps. Yes, bitch. Timeline leap. L E A P. Frog, frog leaps. Okay. Some of y'all also may be seeing frogs. Dreams. Life path. Sexual abuse. Triggers. Rejection. Karma. Fear of solitude. Trust issues. Compromise. Control. Deception uncovered. Destiny, financial abundance, stars aligning, decisions, acceptance, mother issues, intentions revealed, pure heart, soul contract, heart chakra, forgiveness, working together. Okay. Scorpio, let's talk about it. Right? Overall energy around the reading, you guys got the Six of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you all, this could also have to do, I'm hearing heavily, very much so with co-parenting with another person, coming to an agreement, coming to some type of compromise, coming to some type of working together, some type of co-creation within a partnership. Some of you all, this has to do with coming out of some type of um, cold, cold, I'm hearing coldness within a, uh, within a, partnership okay for some of you all this is speaking your damn truth listen i'm not gonna be the only one giving to this shit okay for some of y'all i'm definitely hearing i hear i'm hearing family ties so some of you all may have felt as if you've been trying to keep your family together you've been fighting to keep things working but you're needing another person to work with you because for some of you all you're feeling as if you want to kind of give up on this shit but for some of you all, I, I, for some reason, when I was meditating on y'all shit, I kept seeing 666. Some of y'all may be seeing 333 a lot and 666. It has to do with being willing to compromise, co-create with some type of partnership by you doing your part and not fearing that the other person is going to stab you before you even give them an opportunity to come in. I'm hearing survival. Survival. Some of you all are in this and this primal like survival energy and for a lot of y'all you don't have to fight you just got to open your damn mouth and say what you mean and mean what you say okay for some of you all i'm also hearing manipulation i also heard the word projections and funny thing is that you guys actually did get the projections card in the spirit message so we're going to jump right into that because i feel like that's what the blocking of this there was a blocking the foundation from being created recreated renewed restructured i'm hearing okay Oh, y'all, this, 
listen here. This divine feminine energy, honey, is a whole fucking lot, okay? It's just rain down on me. The message that I got with you guys was, um, remember when I used to love them and leave them. Ow. That's what I used to do. Use and abuse them. Scorpio, then they laid eyes on you. And it was pain before pleasure. That was my claim to fame. Took every measure, baby. Tasted teardrop stains, yeah. I was cold as ice long ago, baby, baby. I'm, I'm all over the place, I know y'all, but this is how it's coming to me. And I wasn't very, very, very nice to know. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Then I kissed your lips and you turned on my fire, baby. Okay, so somebody's fire. Scorpio, somebody turns on your fire, you turn on somebody else's fire, but somebody has literally, this feels like some Isis and Osiris type shit, like somebody has literally went and got their fucking lover from a cold space. Icebox that my heart used to be. Somebody's waking up and seeing things spiritual. Somebody has, which brings me to my next angel message, spiritual understanding, man. Somebody knows what to do. They get messages from the divine. This union is protected. Your heart is protected. You are protected. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Scorpio, somebody is unlocking. Somebody, somebody is becoming fully awakened. They're unlocking aspects of the soul. They're having a soul remembrance. There's a rebirth happening. Now, spirit is showing you. For those of you who've been spirit feeling stagnant or something wasn't coming together. Some of y'all may have a very telepathic connection to someone. Something There is a very sacred connection that is being kept, Scorpio, I'm hearing. Some of you all are holding on to esoteric information. You're spiritual teachers. You're, you're gaining that wisdom. You're gaining that understanding. Your soul is awakening on some whole nother, other deep type. Some of y'all may also feel as if you're in the motherfucking twilight zone. <laughs> Straight like that. Like some of y'all may be zoning out during this time, kind of like coming in and out, okay? People may feel as if you're not paying them any mind. You're not giving them any attention. Somebody feels as if, but somebody is truly going through, uh, somebody's in this spiritual space of having to go within, be in this space of solitude, and somebody is really kind of facing their own damn inner demons that someone has issues with being by themselves. And this has come from this space of somebody having the, Somebody having a need, like being addicted to the need to be needed. Somebody also being the being in this space of addict. Somebody's addicted to some, uh, huh? Yeah, I'm eating my selenite one for this shit. Somebody's addicted to the idea of relationships, but they've not done the safe, the, the self work to know how to love someone and be receptive in relationships. Someone also needs to address their sexual abuse issues as a child in order to move forward and be receptive in relationships. Somebody, somebody doesn't, there's a Scorpio man that don't trust women that I'm connecting with as well. All right, we can't make this video long as fuck, all right? So. I'm praying on the computer, remember? Shit. <laughs> Again, for some of you all, you guys got past lives at the root. Also, transmuting. Transmuting. Do you see how in this past lives car, you see the chameleon being adapt adaptability, being able to adapt? I feel like two people keep running into each other. As they did in a past life. You can run from this connection, but you're going to keep coming to it because I feel like for some of you all, you have to feel the lesson in it is finding out how to move things forward or what can you do differently. If you are keep, if you keep doing the same shit, what haven't you tried? That's your answer. What, what the fuck you, what, what scares you to blatant fucking like death to the point where whenever you get ready to do it, there's this fear that comes over you that yeah, that's what you're supposed to be doing. 
That's who you're supposed to be moving towards. That's what you're supposed to be closing out. Or reconnecting, I'm hearing. Some of y'all, this is about transmuting a relationship that is going on from lifetime to lifetime. Y'all even done this dance with somebody for a long time. But one thing about the lizard, the chameleon, baby, just when they, just when you thought you had them by the goddamn tail, they is already scared off. They leave their enemies in this space of be down, of, of really like delusion. Because they are the masters of not only transmutation, but illusion. Compromise. Some of you all, this has to do again at fucking 6-6. Six, six. With the six of pence, okay? Six, six. Now, I understand. For some of you all, this has to do with the past life partnership. Where in order to reach this sense of abundance, this sense of compromise, okay? There has the sense of love, the sense of harmony. There has to be compromise. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with the, the woman or the man version of yourself. Through this person being a mirror of your energy. They are showing you aspects of yourself that still needs work in which you are working to master. And this is about becoming the master of your own reality and not allowing other people to train other people to literally project their fears onto you. Also, someone else, some of y'all may, I'll tell, again, some of y'all may have a very telepathic connection to someone. Some of y'all may be connecting with someone in your dream space. Someone, you and someone has the perfect relationship in the five dimension, in the fifth, in the five D. But here, maybe in the, in, the, in the earthly realm, you feel alone and you feel as if someone someone feels as if something that they've been dreaming, something that they've been manifesting is not coming together. But not seeing in the underlying order that what's what's not the, the postponement of this is because both of y'all are telepathically picking up one another's fears. But the fears that you're picking up are your own. Seeing beyond the person's physical, but seeing their soul. Finding the wisdom within their actions, finding the wisdom within their soul, seeing every situation as a lesson in order to move you forward to be move you forward to this space of self mastery. Experience is life's best. Pretty much, experience is the best teacher in life. You can't teach some shit you ain't lived. You can't teach nobody. You can't help nobody move. Some of y'all again are spiritual teachers. You cannot. Teach some shit you ain't went through. Being a Scorpio, what's the first thing y'all gonna ask a motherfucker? How you know? Run it. There needs to be compromise. Both of y'all are fearing the same thing. <laughs> what you're fearing is wasting your fucking time and investing in the situation and being the only one. A lot. I'm hearing the switch up. Some of y'all are afraid of somebody switching up, but you haven't given the opportunity a chance. Okay. Let's see what my scruffy babies are. Again, we can't have no long ass video. So what messages do you have in love, career, finances? In general, for my scruffy. For the last half of November, 15th to the 30th. What do you have? Some of the forks. Some more out in the beginning. Last half. Hmm. Are coming back together. Somebody's reconciling with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's coming in and expressing their emotions. They're ready to open up. Some of y'all may be seeing 11, 11 a whole lot. I feel like this has to do with the compromise in order to rebuild a solid foundation, okay? Somebody could also be dealing with their emotions. Things could also be illumined about a, ch a child, okay? Somebody could also be finding out that they're reconciling with somebody because somebody could also be pregnant. This could involve an earth sign, Capricorn to a Virgo. This could also involve an Aries person, a Taurus, okay? Somebody wanting to reconcile with somebody who they have children with, okay? For others of you, the for others of you, I feel like some of y'all are dealing with someone or some, some, some of y'all just has to do with stability. Like some of you guys, before you wanted to, off, before you could like, Feel confident in moving forward or accepting an offering or accepting an offer in love from anybody. You have to first feel this sense of stability within self, okay? Some of y'all could have also been dealing with somebody, or this could have been you, Scorpio, using other people to get to this space of independence, okay? Some of y'all may feel that someone that you that you like or want to reconcile with is independent. Some of y'all may also feel as if somebody's gonna look at you like you like, get your ass away from me, like little ass boy. I'm over here, all in my waters, all abundant and shit. What you gonna do with that little pinnacle? That's cute, okay? So maybe some of y'all may feel as if, you know, and this could be an earth sign, Capricorn towards Virgo looking at you this way. 
Somebody also thought the grass was green on the other fucking side just to be in this space of fucking disillusionment. Some of y'all also may find the, uh, the a selenite one. When it comes to, uh, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, I'm, I'm hearing, seeing clearly. So for those of you who work in the astral, uh, in the astral realms, or for those of you who astral project, those of you who are trying to manifest or trying to astral project to go to see a particular situation clearly within the astral realm, you may want to, and some of y'all also may have some type of like shamanic or indigenous like roots to yourself. So you may want to get you a selenite one. Uh, it works very good for balance, clarity, also with charging your other crystals. It also works good when it keeps, uh, when it comes to grounding. Um, during meditation when you are actual traveling or having out of body experiences to keep you in this space of centering okay many other things too but I do got time we're no long ass videos we yet praying on the miracle Scorpio some of you all hmm some of y'all have to make a decision on if you're going to completely cut off a marriage situation or cut off a situation where there's some type of tie or a tie to assets with another person who maybe you have children with. Somebody also could have been keeping a secret possibly from a Virgo that they kind of wanted to go see if their marriage was going to work first or know that they did everything that they wanted to do before they communicated with everything that they could do before completely cutting off a situation, okay? Others of you could be telling a Virgo that the reason why you really haven't haven't you what's what's been keeping you offering slowly to this person is the fact that they are still like legally married. Some of y'all may feel as if somebody's legally married. There needs to be truth had about a marriage here, okay? Some of y'all could also be hmm. Scorpio, some of y'all also are gonna be receiving some type of uh news. Some of y'all could be dealing with child support, okay? Others of you could also be Some of y'all are cutting off a karmic relationship tie, possibly to a Leo, a Libra, a Virgo. Somebody's going through an awakening and they're going through having to face their fears of solitude. And I feel like it has to do with the restructuring of karma, but this has to do with karmic justice for you. Hmm. You're facing the fear of letting something go and trusting in the unknown without the aspect of control. Y'all trying to control how shit going and it follows the shit because spirit is saying there's a lot of auspicious energy around you guys. You can't control your blessing. Just be open to receive. Some of you all, you will be hearing about a new job, okay? For those of you who are waiting on the case to close out or positive news is around money, I'm hearing tax payouts. I also heard assets, okay? Some of y'all could also be taken from your 401k if you're between jobs. And as soon as you do, bam, an opportunity comes about. By the 1st of December, I'm hearing the third week of November, a lot of you all are going to be receiving opportunities. Some of y'all also may be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations, local lady. Some of y'all also, some of y'all may be under judgment when it comes to some woman. Here, this could be an older woman. Somebody is running from karma as well. Somebody also was kind of focused on the material, the thing. So, somebody was also focused on staying in a marriage or staying in a commitment to, for this sense of like security. However, someone's very fucking unhappy and someone's just going to focus. Somebody's going to choose that matters in the heart. They're going to choose their heart. Some of y'all also intuitively know that someone is trying to manipulate a situation from occurring possibly here with this emperor. Somebody could have been trying to block your money in the past. I see that those blocks will be removed. They are removed in this mid-month of November. Y'all damn ancestors are fucking goonies, bruh. Yeah, somebody was trying to block your money. Somebody also, there could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio trying to block a new beginning, okay? If there was anything that was hidden, if someone had false intentions regarding juggling two people, one that they have a, a loving connection with and one that they actually see as a damn walk and damn come up, somebody is going to be regretting that because there's karma that lies in that. Somebody also could have been trying to manipulate a move or manipulate somebody's path. There could be dreams or some type of clarity within the astral realms regarding that. This could be a mother, somebody's mama. This could be an ex, and they're doing it from a space of strong intention. Be careful when it comes to giving or receiving evil eye this month. Really protect yourself, protect your energies, protect your love, Scorpio. Some of y'all are walking away from a fire sign or a water or a fire sign is walking away from you to go create something more stable, or this walking away. Somebody choosing, choosing to love themselves, lead this motherfucker sleep. Some of y'all could be walking away from a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all, you walking away. Somebody's walking away to transform out here. Somebody also could be walking away from some type of drinking habit or addiction as well. 
focusing on their stability. Somebody see how much money they spend on their habits. They cutting it out. Somebody wants to also offer. Somebody else want to walk away from the past, but somebody wants to offer. This could be you, Scorpio. Somebody wants to offer you a solid. Somebody want to offer you a solid offer, Scorpio. Damn, y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say now. Somebody also wants to uh, have a, a solid foundation. Here with this damn Queen of Wands. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, towards Virgo. But I do see you guys going into a new cycle after cutting the situation off and choosing to work on yourself. Some of you guys also could be moving forward possibly from a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, another Scorpio like yourself. But I do see that this damn, not only is this damn wheel turning, but Scorpio is going through a rebirth. And in going through that rebirth, you are attracting things that it, everything that you've been working on is actually on its way to you. Only thing you have to do is open up and be receptive. Love, give love, share. A lot of you all, this is about you moving towards your life path as well. But some of you all, you could also be getting some type of offer to travel for work or to travel travel for some type of creative endeavor. Some of y'all also, I just realized I got the fucking king and queen. Yeah, some of y'all met your part of you. Some of y'all now know that a person is your person. You're seeing somebody with new eyes. You now appreciate them. You see their substance for y'all. And you want to make something, a solid offer. Or this person wants to do this with you. Okay, so Spirit, what's the best advice for my Scorpions for the mid-month of November? Some of y'all also have a new job coming in. Wow, you are safe, Scorpio. Uh, Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones and your home. Again, I told you a motherfucker had been trying to send for you. They had been trying to come. Things are going to be illumined about that. Some of y'all could also be, trust what you see in the astral realms. If you see that somebody is doing some shit to you in your damn dream space, protect yourself. If you feel to guard yourself from an energy, know that you are safe. Them motherfuckers can't touch you. But speak your truth to stand your ground and know that you don't have a reason to be scared at the bottom of the end. Claire Cognizance, Archangel Uriel, pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered. Prayers, nothing happens by coincidence, Scorpio. Is it somewhere over the rainbow? Things being illumined. You standing in your power. Some of you all are literally uh, being passed to torch or something. Some of y'all could also be um, signing up for some type of marathon. Others of you, you're standing in your power. You're bringing love. Things are being illuminated. For some of you all, there's also I'm hearing a coming together. Some of y'all want to go get your prize. Speaking your truth. Bringing peace to a situation. Releasing a situation in peace. So for some of you all, this has to do with, <laughs> do I completely walk away from this shit? Or do I compromise? and co-create in order to rebuild that's the question but I release any animosity I release any anger I release any resentment I release any victim uh, this victim mindset I release these energies in order to transmute them into love peace abundance restoration harmony healthy duality co-creation participation compromise that grows like that of a flower, a beautiful rose, out of the midst of a concrete fucking a concrete pavement. Steep, Scorpio. I pray this finds you well. I send you all love and light, many blessings. And if you need a personal, that information can be found in the description. Again, if you haven't already, please follow me over on the other side of Instagram at, at mocha underscore love underscore tarot. And I will see you guys here for December. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy birthday. Bye, babies.